Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the OCG and Mafia Guild, and today's episode is going to be about the Order of the Red Hand. Now, this is a decentralized autonomous corporation that I've helped create through the Mafia Esports organization to operate in the Star Atlas Metaverse. So within Star Atlas, there are DACs, decentralized autonomous corporations, that operate much like guilds do in different games. And in during the COPA event, we were able to hear from several of the DACs that had submitted their proposals um, and had been voted uh, one of the best proposals. Now, we've submitted this proposal, which I'll go over today and I'll make available in the description below. Um, it was not selected and that, that hurts my heart, but um, there were a lot of really, really good proposals put out there. Um, I believe Coexist uh, was the DAC that actually won the COPA event um, by a panel of judges. Um, there was also Dark Matter and The Club, which were three phenomenal DACs um, during the COPA event. Um, and so I wanted to give have a chance to present the Order of the Red Hands, what we're about and how you can get involved, and uh, just give an idea of how the Star Atlas ecosystem is starting to uh, build on itself, how the community is actually creating content to uh, incorporate into the game Star Atlas. As the Star Atlas developers build that game, the community is also building itself. And we have another event coming up in uh, July 21st, I believe, that is called the Four to Six event and that is sort of a meme on the four to six weeks before something big is released well they have uh, several large uh, announcements hopefully during this event and it will be another community building event like the copa so i'm really excited for that and there'll be links to the uh, twitter posts etc in the description below so let's uh, get into what is the order of the red hand The Order of the Red Hand, or the Red Hand for short, is a concept that I came up with and began to develop with other members of the Mafia Esports organization when we found a imbalance forming within Star Atlas. There were a lot of fighter class ships and there was a very destructive nature of the Star Atlas game and the main game loops. And we didn't see a whole lot of assets or resources to counterbalance that extremely strong force. And so we decided to focus on the support style of gameplay. And we came up with this proposal uh, that we'll go through now. And I'll have a link in description below for the full document. And you can read through it. But I'm going to give you the, the bullet points and the important parts and expand on uh, some parts that I, I think would be uh, very important to understand. So who are we? The Red Hand is a Star Atlas division of the Mafia Esports organization. Okay, So the Mafia is the group that we're a part of outside of the game, but inside Star Atlas, we will be known as the Red Hand. And the reason that we did that is because the Red Hand is not going to be a general play uh, in Star Atlas. Um, it is going to be focused and specialized on repair and rescue operations. Now, the reason we do that and our specific goal is to reduce the total ship destruction and its associated debilitating costs of time and resources to Star Atlas players. Now, in Star Atlas, destruction is in combat is going to be a integral part of its ecosystem. It's one of the burning mechanics that maintains value in Star Atlas. And so it's very important. We're not going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. There will be conflict. But for the average player, total ship destruction can be a very debilitating cost and a cost that many people may not want to pay. And much like the Red Cross or a field medic, by knowing that there's someone that's going to come by and pick you up and patch you up and get you back on your feet, we theorize that people are going to be more willing to go out and explore, to expand their empires and to engage in more combat. And that 
will all be better for the ecosystem and the community. Now that's great, that's a cool idea, but what is our strategy? How are we actually going to do this? Now we've identified the need of repair and rescue. Now in order to be successful as, as a, a, a business model and a successful gameplay strategy, we need to identify the best ways, the most effective ways to do this job better than anybody else. And so by specializing in repair and rescue, that's our first step. That is what we're focused on. And then the second part is we take tools that have already been created. No reason to recreate the wheel on this. In real life, there is also a need for repair and rescue. And so there are already protocols and technologies in place that we can utilize and bring straight over to the Star Atlas universe. We're going to be utilizing tiered emergency response protocol that was actually inspired by the LA Fire, County Fire Department um, and the FEMA. And to immediately streamline and professionalize those our abilities to provide top quality emergency repair and rescue services and response times. Now, naturally, if anybody has real life uh, re uh, rescue operation experience, uh, they're going to be able to understand these protocols. And so if you're in involved in as an EMT or a firefighter, a police officer, and that type of gameplay and, and protocol style makes sense to you and something that you'd like to do in the Star Atlas uh, metaverse, then you're the type of person that would be great uh, to come and join the Red Hand. The primary gameplay is going to be that tiered emergency response and the red hand is going to become the red cross of Star Atlas. We're going to have a non-aggressive stance towards players, DAX, and factions. That's including pirates. Our fleets will be primarily comprised of R8s, R6s, Calico, Medtechs, Calico Evacs, and other repair and rescue ships um, that become available. So with a non-aggressive primary game style, it's very naive to think that those assets will never be attacked by anybody just because we're here to help. And so as the secondary game style, the Mafia Muscle will be a group of players that specialize in PvP style gameplay and are going to be the protection, the escort, and defensive response only. Uh, so that if one of the Red Hand assets is attacked, then a bounty will be issued and the Mafia Muscle will go after the bounty. Uh, in high risk zones, the repair and rescue ships will be sent out and then the Mafia Muscle might follow along or be located in areas nearby uh, in case of an attack and a quick response is needed without reducing from their ability to have normal gameplay within that, that metaverse. So we're not walking around with our hands tied behind our back. We've got a big stick but we're not aggressive or going to go after any player, DAC, or faction. And as a result, uh, the idea is to actually reduce the amount of overt conflict that is enacted upon the Red Hand. The Red Hand is there to help repair and rescue and get people back into the game. From the COPA event, we can already see that there are several DACs that have formed together and created their own communities within the Star Atlas metaverse. And it will be the Red Hand's diplomatic goals to achieve non-aggression treaties with those DACs and or service contracts with those DACs where we provide our repair and rescue services for specific operations. Say, for example, a DAC wants to go into a high risk area and they need a little bit more um, support. And so we can send our repair assets uh, along with their force to offer that extra support, sort of like uh, repair mercenaries. And in that sense, develop good relationships with the different DACs um, going in whatever direction that they're focused on. 
um, without being an uh, aggressive force uh, against anybody specifically. And in doing so, then we would be able to expand our area of influence to a wider range. And where the logistics of a complete vertical integration over a large area of the entire medium and high risk zones, um, it would be extremely difficult for a single faction to achieve that. But if we are able to operate within other DAX uh, regions of influence and to facilitate their operations, we would then be able to utilize their logistical setups, their supply chains in order to obtain our supplies. And they would benefit from us because we would be buying their products. And so the synergy that we can create yeah, in this scenario uh, allows specialization and wider expansion of the Red Hand. So where are we located? Well, the Red Hand is going to be located in the Ooster sector, and we'll be setting up our first space stations in the medium risk zone near the boundary of the high risk zone. Obviously, that's where the greatest need is going to be. The planet's ideally is going to have resources that are conducive for generating the basic four R's, that is the fuel, the food, ammo, and repair kits, uh, so that we can create the basic infrastructure for the majority of the resources that repair and rescue operations are going to need. Now, as we grow and expand, as we set up service contracts and non-aggression treaties with other DACs, we can expand our space stations, small space stations or operation nodes to those different DAC regions to be able to operate with uh, high efficiency and quick responses uh, with those different DACs that we are working with. And we don't have to make those space stations extremely large or have major infrastructures because we'll be able to work alongside the other DACs who are creating large infrastructures in their specific regions. Ultimately, the goal of the Red Hand is to expand and grow to encompass the entire Star Atlas metaverse, to reach out into each of the three different factions. But in order to begin reaching out to different factions, first we would need to uh, completely satisfy the service needs of the Ooster sector. Once we've accomplished that, and that's no small task, there are specific criteria that need to be hit in order to engage in the expansion into a new faction, which are listed in the, the document. Other parts of the document include the tiered response protocol for refueling, for repairing, and for rescue. Our pre-plan protocol uh, for on-call members, uh, captains and uh, patrol pilots. Also our order of operations that each of our operating members would become familiar with and, and train under. Uh, from the reception of the dispatch, the, the distress call that's sent into our dispatch, the uh, patrol captain that is sent out to the scene to survey first, and then the uh, patrol pilot that then comes in afterwards with the repair ships or the rescue um, as the captain calls for. Um, so the entire order of operations uh, can be reviewed on the document as well. Our pre-deploy strategies, this is different uh, types of service contracts that we can have um, to be in specific areas when a known battle is going to take place or a area is going to be explored and you want to have those uh, repair and rescue resources on hand, much like the fire departments do for insurance companies. Uh, so this is real life business models that will be brought into the Star Atlas metaverse. And then the operation security is going to be extremely important. We'll be working with other DACs and their operations. And so maintaining a levels of security uh, to make sure that that uh, pertinent and, and vulnerable information is maintained uh, at, at a high security level until the absolute necessity uh, in order to, to enact the, the repair or rescue operation. And so OPSEC is, is actually very important. The governance structure we can also look at in the documentation um, from the council members to the different types of tiered membership. 
in the red hands based off of asset ownership, off of operational position within the red hand. Um, these will all factor in to the governance of the DAC which can be looked through in detail in the document. And discussions about this are always welcomed on the Mafia's Star Atlas Discord, um, which I will be in uh, all the time. So I'd love to talk to you more about these different aspects of, of the Red Hand. It also gives an example of pricing models, how we would set up a payment for services rendered and some concepts and ideas on how that all breaks down uh, from the fuel cost to the service fees, uh, the total, the taxation rates, um, etc. All these numbers are estimated and it's not an exact. This will be based off of what the development team actually comes up with, but this gives you a general idea of, of the model that, that has been created. And then finally, the payout structure for the people actually doing the work. Um, that the people that would be coming in and running those repair and rescue assets. Um, if you had an R8 or an R6 or a Calico MedTech and you were to do those services, uh, it's important to know how that distribution goes to the several different members uh, involved in each operation. So here's the question. Why should you join the Red Hand? Well, let me give you the elevator pitch and see what you think. The Order of the Red Hand is founded squarely upon the greatest and most consistent need of players in Star Atlas the aftermath of conflict. We do not fight the reality of human nature, nor the exciting appeal of galactic domination and exploration in the game. Instead, we've created a symbiotic relationship with the entire ecosystem. If you enjoy support style gameplay and find purpose in creative action versus competitive action, then your home is the red hand. If you have real world experience or are excited by the emergency rescue field, then your home is the red hand. If you want a consistent way to earn through Star Atlas while supporting the success of the ecosystem, then your home is the red hand. The order of the red hand is destined for a position of prominence and respect in the Star Atlas metaverse. So join us and Star Atlas as we rocket past the moon into the great unknown that awaits. If you can do that, then today was a good day. Good morning, Metaverse.